Blake Cousins here, Third Phase Moon. Welcome back, world. We have a special guest today, a man who wants to remain anonymous, but we're gonna call him La Rook. And he claims that he's captured the men in black on video, and they've been following him around for years. We're gonna go over this right now. Incredible video, evidence, strange to say the least. La Rook, welcome to the show. Hey, thanks, Blake. Thanks for having me. All right, you reached out to us on uh, Facebook yesterday, and. Um, once I saw the photographs, you sent me a still in the beginning. You said you had some video. These guys do look like the men in black. They look a little creepy, if you ask me. Tell me uh, the circumstance, the preface behind this video. Well, the reason why I was able to catch them on video this time, I think, is because I was finally with a witness, a friend. Um, usually, when they would come to me, it, they, I would be in such fear, Blake, that I would be almost frozen. I, I wouldn't really be able to actually move or, or even reach for a, my uh, cell phone. Really? So I think, you know, by mistake, they came up on me when I was with a friend, a witness. So this isn't the first time. When was the first time you were visited by the MIB, the Men in Black? Uh, first time, Blake, was... I, that I can remember was in uh, 1975, um, and that was at, at my home. And I've, I've seen them. Whenever I move to a different place for more than three months at a time, they seem to find me and make sure I see them, make eye contact with me. It, it seems as though they're letting me know they know where I'm at. Wow. And I, I think it's because I've, I've been... Um, I've been abducted since I was a child, too, since I was three. Okay, this makes sense. This is uh, probably why they're following you around, obviously. I believe so, Blake, but it's uh, it's been frightening to me. And finally, uh, I was able to get proof up until now. Um, nice. People just thought I was a little bit nuts. <laughs> yeah. So well, I'm these glad I got the... I, I got the the, uh, the video. You got the video, and we're looking at it. We're, we're zooming in. We're slowing things down, seeing if there's anything peculiar about these guys. They seem a little very odd. Tasty. They, they seem very looking, odd. Very. They, they kind of move in unison. Yes. Um, yeah. Very strange. They seem to to almost communicate without moving their mouths. It almost seems that way. It seems like they are. Uh, aware that you are filming them almost and you said how, how were you you said you were doing this inconspicuously you were kind of holding the iphone not up to your eyes you're just holding it down at your waist level is this why the camera's That's a little shaky right. mm -hmm. and at the same time i was talking to my friend trying to call her attention to them because she's never heard of this before i never even talked to her about this before and then after as a matter of fact when i tried to uh send her the video to her phone, her phone fried. She wasn't able to keep really? any of the, the pictures. That's uh, for vacation. That's, <laughs> that's strange. Let me. I gotta say, this is like you just paparazzi the uh, the men in black. You you got them. I, it's very rare that you. I think I did. <laughs> I'm really happy that I did because you know what? It gives me uh, validation. And what really does? It it is validating. Did you? Were, are these the same guys? Are these the exact same guys that visited visited you in uh, 1975, or are they two, uh, two you know, different? It's a good question. It's hard to tell. It's hard to tell because they're also similar to me. And I was in such... Honestly, God, Blake, when, when my eyes connect with theirs, such fear runs through my body. It's, it's almost like it, it's not a real... It's not real. It's, it's almost like they put that fear in me somehow. Yeah, you, so he, it freezes my body almost. It's weird. The fear. So do you yeah. think they have something on them that produces this energy around them? Some oh, uh, some maybe impulse that frightens I, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. <laughs> but it is frightening. They've only spoken uh, to me in words one time. And that was when... And I always seems to be in a crowded... A uh, room or a big crowd, like New York City, um, 1989. Uh-huh. Uh, one of them walked up to me, and it looked as though he might have been getting ready to speak to me, but I couldn't tell you because his 
mouth was close to my ear, and the only thing that I heard was, don't take yourself so seriously, they won't believe you anyway. Wow. That's the only thing they've ever said. Oh, man, that's so weird. Um, you know, I'm looking at the, these, the fashion, whatever these guys are wearing. It doesn't seem like it's, they're wearing anything that's, you know, in the 20th century. It almost looks like it's out of the 50s or the 40s kind of attire that they're wearing. And, and it, it, the fact that it's in New Orleans, I had a house down there. The fact that it's down there, people said, well, you know, people dress up in Mardi Gras. As you can see, it wasn't Mardi Gras. It was just an everyday kind of day, you know. Um, yeah, it's it, it's been a frightening ordeal. But like, you know, I'm just I, I thank God that I have validation, and uh, I'm glad that I have a witness. So absolutely, it makes me feel so much better. So this uh this, this eyewitness that was with you at the time, how are you, how are you guys related? Um, actually, she's just a good friend. We're not related okay. uh, at all. Um, just a very good friend, a client of mine that came to visit me in New Orleans. I was only there for a few months. Um, she came to see me and check out how I was uh, making out on my new uh, my new place. Nice. So basically, you, yeah. she's aware of your encounters with MIB, and it sounds like some of your friends thought you were kind of, you know, nuts even bringing this up. Yeah. Now you got the proof. What was she thinking? She said. She was trying to get some videos and pictures, and what happened to the phone? Well, I, I tried to send her the, um, the, the video clip that you have. I tried to send it to her, and she was standing right behind me. She witnessed this whole thing. Um, so when I sent it to her, her phone wasn't able to, to pick up the, 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 the video, and at the same time, all the photographs that she took during the vacation were taken away too it was just blank that's weird that, you know we got the video I, I downloaded it successfully so it's going to be shared to the world and i got a feeling hundreds right. of thousands of people are going to see this and it's going to be making the circles around the world so this is quite uh, exciting because the only time i've actually seen men in black was on a photograph a surveillance camera as these guys were approaching uh, walking in some kind of in lobby a, in, that, in, in the front door of that hotel right yes. yeah exactly now you got video. Yes, I know exactly, because I was looking for some footage myself. You know what, Blake? People have to realize this stuff is for real. This stuff is happening to people. Uh, you shouldn't laugh mm -hmm. when people tell you this stuff's happening. I mean, this affects people in a real, true way. Well, I had imagined, look at these guys, it would kind of creep me out, no doubt about it. These two guys, they're very pale, too. They, they have this weird... Uh, pale skin on them and they yeah. like you say they move yeah. around they almost seem robotic a little bit right yeah yeah but you know what doing this has made me less fearful so i appreciate your help well the power of the camera you know it is a free well society that we live in right now in the united states and it's basically everybody has their cameras going and that's what's amazing it is so powerful you're doing a great, great job, and, and you know what you're doing is important. I appreciate it. Well, thank you, Larouk. You know, um, we have our Facebook open to the public, and, and people can make submissions all the time. But when I got yours, immediately, you know, some people just laugh it off, and I'm like, no, no, look at, look, we gotta look at this guy's story, hear what he's got to say, and you know, the video proof in itself is very, very compelling. You didn't set this up. This is what you saw and what you captured is the real deal. We've never spoken before, and now we're getting the word out right now. I appreciate it, Blake. I do. I really do. You're a good guy. All right. Thanks for your time. Thank you. So, one last question. I, this alien, you've been abducted, and at the age of three, do you have any memory of when that, what happened? Where were you when this happened? Yeah, I, 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 I do. And, um... Kind of most of the time, and I actually even recognize somebody that was abducted along with me, and we're friends to this day. Really? Um, yeah, um, I, I met him only four years ago, and, and we found out that we've been abducted together wow. several times since we were, since I was 15. Hey, we're, this Friday, tomorrow, we're having a radio show. I'd sure like to have you and your friend on and discuss that. Well, that sounds cool. As a matter of fact, you know what, uh, Blake, he was next door neighbors to uh, Betty and Barney Hill when he grew up. Wow. 
okay. Well, yeah. That's, <laughs> this is going to be fun. Reggie, you, you get into it. So, fun. yeah, I, that would be fun, Blake. I, I'd love to do that. Let's do it. It's going to be at 12 a.m. Eastern, 9 p.m. Pacific time. We're going to put the links below and the phone number. And you know what? If you could get your friend on tomorrow, LaRue, and we could uh, do this on live radio cool. that would be awesome yeah I'm cool okay yeah. do that LaRouk man appreciate you sharing uh, your video evidence I look forward to the radio show tomorrow and man have your camera ready because I got a feeling these guys will be back after this video gets I up right I totally haven't stopped <laughs> thanks buddy alright LaRouk you have a good one wow that's amazing that is incredible and right now third phase of moon is sharing this to the world right now Keep your eyes in the skies, everybody. We're not alone. Blake Cousins. We'll see you again next time.